I see her rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Francesco Bagnaia considers that Jorge Martin deserves to be his teammate at Ducati for the upcoming 2025 MotoGP. The rider's moving market is still a hot topic of conversation even on the sidelines of the rolling 2024 Dutch MotoGP series at this time. Ducati is one of the teams that has completed the composition of their lineup for next season by presenting two sons. Yes, the Italian manufacturer will officially rely on two riders labeled world champions following the arrival of Marc Marquez. The rider nicknamed Baby Alien has shown a promising performance with Grazzini racing this season. Despite using last year's version of the Ducati bike, Marquez can still compete by winning a total of eight podiums from seven series. In addition, Marc Marquez's label as the winner of eight world titles cannot be released by Ducati. In his journey to get the place, the 31-year-old rider managed to set aside younger rivals. Marquez eliminated Inia Bastianini and Jorge Martin, who have been Bagnaia's fierce rivals in the last two seasons in the hunt for the title. However, Ducati's fears of losing Marquez altogether led the Borgo Panigale factory team to act quickly and secure the services of the eight-time world champion. Of course, I am very happy and very grateful to Ducati for choosing me as an official rider and teammate of Peko, Francesco Bagnaia, in a press conference ahead of the Dutch MotoGP reported by Crash. Especially a year ago. I almost ended my career, but luckily it was summer vacation and I recharged my batteries and recharged my body. From there I decided on another path. In that decision at the same time I thank Honda because they understood my decision to go to Grazzini. And here's the full news. Grazzini rider Marc Marquez welcomes the 2024 Dutch MotoGP series at the Assen circuit, June 28th to 30th, with the certainty of being a Ducati rider from the 2025 season. Marquez made the perfect choice when he left Honda to join Grazzini. It looks like he will benefit again with his next MotoGP move, Marquez will join Francesco Bagnaia in the factory Ducati team next season, completing the most formidable lineup on the grid. Marquez was confirmed in the team ahead of rumors at the Mugello circuit in Italy that Jorge Martin would win the race to join Bagnaia. However, Ducati's fears of losing Marquez altogether saw the Borgo Panigale factory team act quickly and secure the services of the eight-time world champion. Of course, I am very happy and very grateful to Ducati for choosing me as the official rider and teammate of Peko, Francesco Bagnaia, in the press conference ahead of the Dutch MotoGP reported by Crash. Especially a year ago, I almost ended my career, but luckily it was summer vacation and I recharged my batteries and recharged my body. From there I decided on another path. In that decision I also thanked Honda because they understood my decision to go to Grazzini. I at Grazzini I immediately felt it and I immediately understood that having confidence was possible. The team atmosphere was perfect to revive a rider who had lost his way. From then on I tried to do my best and I became one of the contenders for the official Ducati bike, which for me was a great pleasure. The 31-year-old then recounted how Ducati finally decided he would be their factory rider next season. I had just given 100% of my ability on the racetrack and then on Sunday night at Mugello they decided that I would be the rider and within two days we finalized the contract, Marquez said. De very happy but the season is still long and I want to give my best for Grazzini which is a very professional and very good team. Marquez has remained consistent for weeks when discussing his future. He said that he had three options he would consider for the 2025 season, including Grazzini, a factory Ducati team, and an unknown team, reportedly KTM, although they refused any talks with Marquez. Marquez is also very clear that he wants the latest bike from Ducati which he emphasized again during the pre-event press conference in Assen. Around my team nothing has changed. We got the same information from Le Mans, Montmelo and Mugello, Marquez said. They thought about the decision and on Wednesday at Mugello they were still thinking about it, so I feel comfortable. I was honest with what I wanted. 
I wanted the latest bike in Grazzini or in the official team and they chose me in the official team. Wearing the red suit next year will be a pleasure and I will try to maintain that color with maximum effort, Marquez admitted. A two-time race winner at Assen in MotoGP, Marquez remains a title contender and could be in for a big points haul in the next two rounds. Marquez arrives at the Dutch circuit with one of the most complete bikes on the grid, before Saxon Ring follows where he has proven unbeatable with a bike that can give him what he needs. Hoping to get closer in the GP23 against Banyaya and Martin this weekend, Marquez said, we'll see. We will do our best and I feel we have a very good package. We are working very well with the team and we feel the support of Ducati. We will try to be close to them. The man to beat this weekend is Peko because he won in the last two years here, Marquez said. But in last year's race, Jorge was the fastest, so let's see if we can do it, but I have enough tools to do it. I need to improve my skills. In the midst of serious questioning, the host posed the question to Banyaya and Marquez that the two do not follow each other on their respective Instagram accounts. It will you follow each other's Instagram accounts as teammates? Banyaya replied with a smile. I will see. First, I'll try to follow Banyaya on the track and then on Instagram, Marquez said with a chuckle. On the other hand, Francesco Banyaya considers that Jorge Martin deserves to be his teammate at Ducati for the upcoming 2025 MotoGP. The racer's move is still a hot topic of conversation even on the sidelines of the rolling 2024 Dutch MotoGP series at this time. Ducati is one of the teams that has completed the composition of their lineup for next season by presenting two sons. Yes, the Italian manufacturer will officially rely on two riders labeled world champions following the arrival of Marc Marquez. The rider nicknamed Baby Alien has shown a promising performance with Grazzini racing this season. Despite using last year's version of the Ducati bike, Marquez can still compete by winning a total of eight podiums from seven series. In addition, Marc Marquez's label as the winner of eight world titles cannot be released by Ducati. In his journey to get the place, the 31-year-old rider managed to set aside younger rivals. Marquez got rid of Inia Bastianini and Jorge Martin, who have been Banyaya's fierce rivals in the last two seasons in the title hunt. Arguably, Martin became the most painful victim of Marquez's choice to fill a place in the Ducati factory team. The Promac racing rider had long been eyeing the position even before Marquez's arrival at Grazzini Racing. Failing to become a Ducati factory team, Martin Adder decided to leave Promac Racing to get the status of a factory rider. Aprilia is an option for Martin to replace Alix Espargaro who decided to retire at the end of this season. Francesco Bagnaia also considered that Martin actually deserved a place in the factory team for his hard work so far. I think that Jorge Martin is very worthy of being in the factory team, said Francesco Bagnaia, quoted from the Motosan page. However, the MotoGP world champion in the last two seasons could not comment further on his team's decision to choose Marquez. But I don't know what happened, in the end I am a racer, and I have to act as a racer, said Bagnaia. If they have decided to be like this, it is a more correct decision, he added. I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees, my imagination of her body gets the best of me.